For any logopedist, very important to know all about speech sounds. The first thing we'll learn future logopedist is the classification of speech sounds. I guess that all of us know the classification of Russian speech sounds, but if you want work with English-speaking people, you need to know the classification of English speech sounds too. The English classification looks like Russian, but actually it's not. In English language there are many different sounds and most of people don't think about it. So now we want to show you this classification. All English speech sounds are divided according to some criteria. Place of articulation, manner of articulation, voice in a desperation. An abstraction is necessarily formed when two articulators come close together. Generally, one is moving, the active articulator, and the other is stationary, the passive articulator. As a result, what is normally termed the place of articulation is actually a combination of a place of active articulation and the place of passive articulation. The places of articulation used in English are bilabial. Both lips come together, as in p, b, or m. Labia dental. Lower lip contact upper teeth, as in f or v. Dental. Tan tip or tan blade contacts upper teeth, as in th or v. Alveolar. Tan tip contacts the alveolar ridge, as in t, d, n, o, l. Or tan blade contacts the alveolar ridge, as in s, o, z. Postalveolar. Tan blade contacts the postalveolar region behind the alveolar ridge, as in ch. J. Palatal. Middle of tongue approaches or contacts the hard palate, as in Y. Vila. Back of tongue contacts the soft palate, as in K. G. O. Mm. Labia villa. Back of tongue approaches the soft palate, and lips also come close to each other, as in V. Laryngeal. No obstruction anywhere, but in the vocal cords down in the throat, as in H. Manner of articulation refers in general to characteristics of the speech organs other than the location or the abstraction. There are multiple parameters involved here and different types of each. The manners of articulation used in English are Stop. Complete blockage followed by sudden release, as in B, D, G. Fricative, incomplete blockage but still close enough to cause significant airflow turbulence, as in F, S, Th, V, Z, Th. Affricate, complete blockage followed by a gradual release, resulting in a combination of stop and fricative, as in CH, J. Approximate. Incomplete blockage and far enough apart that airflow is smooth, as in R, Y, W, H. Nasal. Complete blockage of air out the mouth, but air can freely flow out the nose, as in M, N, M. Lateral. Complete blockage of air by the center of the tongue, but air can flow out the sides of the tongue, as in O. Voicing. How closely the vocal cords are placed together. In English there are only two possibilities, voiced and unvoiced. A voiced sound is produced with vibration of the adducted vocal folds in the larynx, as in B, D, G, M, N, etc. Voiceless sounds are consonants produced without vibration of the vocal fold, as in F, P, K, S, etc.